Hey, forgive me for the poor camera quality, but I was out doing some work and I got to thinking that probably be not a bad idea to make a little short video of what I was doing today. Okay, so I came out to clear some trails on one of the properties that we do classes for Nature Reliance School. And pretty hot today, going to get up about 80 degrees. So I, I made some decisions and did some things to prevent the onset of heat-related illness. And I wanted to go over those and make sure that we understand what I did so you can help yourself and do the same things. Number one, uh, first off, I told my wife where I'm going when I expect to return. In case something happens to me, she can get help to me uh, if I don't return when I expect to. I'm using a chainsaw, so I, you can't see it because, again, I just got my my little cheap um, camera phone. and But I've got chainsaw chaps on in case, because I'm remote. I'm probably a good 12 miles from the nearest healthcare facility. I'm a good 7 or 8 miles from the nearest EMT, and I'm by myself. Um, probably should have brought somebody with me, but sometimes that is not... A possibility so brought my chainsaw chaps got my safety glasses got ear protection and I've got uh, my, my gloves not the best chainsaw gloves but just gloves in general uh, I don't have long sleeves maybe I should have but I didn't want to get exceptionally hot I've got a cotton t-shirt on and this is part of what I did for heat related illness I'm gonna get hot I've already gotten hot and really sweaty the cotton's gonna hold the moisture to help cool me down and keep me cool I've gotten water, took water with me, carried it with me throughout the day, been drinking about every 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I've urinated a couple of times um, and making sure that my urine is clear rather than dark. And I'm checking for signs of uh, heat related illness. So I'm making sure I'm not getting dizzy, uh, making sure that I'm not having excessive thirst, making sure the skin's not standing up on the back of my hand I'm not getting any sort of delirium or anything of that nature. Don't feel like my temperature is raising excessively. I'm continuing to sweat the whole time. These are all things that I'm just monitoring myself. And if I notice that any of those things get out of whack, for example, I quit sweating. I feel like I'm getting excessively hot, like my temperature of my body is rising. Not that I'm getting hot from work, but that my temperature's up 103 degrees, you know, like I'm sick hot. Um, like I'm getting cold and clammy, like I'm getting delirious, or any of those things start to happen, then I have to monitor myself, and I just simply quit. Uh, I've got to, I've got to get contact. I'll simply call my wife and say, "Hey, I'm not feeling well." Let her know, and then I'll get out of here. Now, to further make my situation a bit safer, I carry my chest rig with me everywhere I go. So this is my tactical chest rig. Now, with that said. It's not as much tactical as it's just my go bag and just my, you know, my uh, safety blanket, if you will. On it, I have a IFAC. And in that IFAC, I have a tourniquet and an Israeli bandage and um, some rolled up gauze as well as one 4x4 gauze. Uh, I have trauma shears. I practice with that as well. I practice with all those devices to make sure that I can utilize them by myself and can apply them on both my arms and both my legs in case something like that were to happen. Uh, I checked cell phone service to make sure if something like that were to happen that I would apply the tourniquet, apply the Israeli bandage if something were to happen with my chainsaw and then I would call for help. So real simple like just some things that I've taken the necessary precautions because I'm out here by myself and if something were to happen then I would be able to get help to myself. Well, number one, I'd be able to help myself as best I can. I would be able to get help to myself as quickly as possible. And if something happens and I can't report to somebody, then my wife will be able to get help to me as uh, soon as I can. And, hey, worst case scenario, uh, if they had to send a search and rescue team out, uh, if I hadn't told my wife where I am, then she would have no idea where to start, so she knows pretty much within a 100-yard radius of where I am today. So with that said, let's say that worst-case scenario, I kill myself out here with this chainsaw by accident. Then they have to do a body recovery. They don't have to expend hundreds of thousands of dollars of resources searching for my body. They'll send the sheriff out here and they'll find me. So with that said, those are some things to consider for you when you're out working on your own. Forgive me, I'm about to sneeze. And I hope it keeps you safe.
Woo. <sighs> Man, don't you hate it when you're about to sneeze? Come on, join in. Let's learn together.